this Monday morning. We are here at Walmart in Bristol, Virginia, and we're going to begin another wonderful week of toy hunting. Let's get into Walmart here and see what they got. Well, we got a whole little end cap thing here now of the crystals for Godzilla and Kong. Well, let's see what we got down the toy aisle this morning. There's some more Godzilla and Kong and more of those crystals. <laughs> What's on the clearance here for 950? I don't know what that is. Anybody else? Maybe some of the turtle stuff. I don't know. I still don't see any of the auto mutation elite ninjas, whatever they're called. We still got plenty of our mutant mayhem in stock, which is showing up at Ross now for $6.99. And these were on clearance, the pizza tossers. I guess they still are. I don't know without scanning them. And I got the usuals and the retro card stuff, the movie turtles and Genghis and so on and so forth and what we got down through here so clearance tags on all this stuff hulk is still not moving at 11 bucks i guess down around five dollars i might like to pick it up just for that hulk figure uh well there's one so i thought they all had their head but miles back there is decapitated there's scarlet spider can't wait till that carded scarlet spider comes out that should be soon i'm seeing some people out west are starting to already find it so Hopefully it'll trickle over here eventually. Uh, Vulcan, Darwin, and Siren. Kang, and Ant-Man, MJ. Same stuff they had last week pretty much on Marvel Legends. Uh, still got a buttload of superpowers on clearance. I don't know if they've marked those down anymore. Visible Jet, no skull ship. Still showing six bucks. The 16 one there is a multiverse peg. And they've moved all the multiverse figures down here loose on the shelf. Uh, Micro Galaxy, not a lot going on. Got some plushies up there for Star Wars and coming down into some Star Wars stuff. Let's just take a peeky down here and see if they got anything. Owlman still back in there. Another Owlman. Another owl man. I got some owl man. Other than that, not much going on in the world of DC multiverse. What we got over here? Oh, they do have the new micro galaxies. There's the tie bomber, the tie fighter. I'm sorry. And then Pose X-wing, the orange one. I got a couple of those. I do like the orange on that. Any new black series? Doesn't look like it. Chrysanthemum still showing 22. Still 25 on Moss Man. And they got some Roman Ultimates down there. That's the only ones they have, looks like. And we got some, let's see, Cena, Cena, and Cena. Top picks. This is what's left of the WrestleMania shipper at this one. Man, that shipper got picked over quick here. Just chatting back and forth with... Nick Centers about that. I think the same thing happened in his area. They didn't last no time. Which is good. It's always good for stuff to sell good. So if it sells good, they'll get more of, right? Rock. There's some basics. What series is that one? 146. Is that a new one? Oh, crap. I just knocked the rock off. Oh, that's the one with Brett. I think Brett's the chase in this one. Once they have Brett, there's Roman. Giovanni, and this guy, I gotta say, I have never heard of. I wonder if that ball spot in his beard is supposed to be there. Or that's a imperfection in the paint. So you got Giovanni, Reigns, Kevin Owens, Shayna Blazer, or Basler, where she's right there, and Brett. I think the chase of Brett's got black pants instead of the pink. Honky Tonk and Carrie and Cross. Roman, Roman, Carrion. Ah, somebody's already got Brett. <laughs> rock here and put him back where he was at so yeah we got some new basics series 146 i'm trying to find mr hart i'm curious to see what the face looks like most of the time i think wwe figures bret hart's face is always jacked up looking oh, they got a winged eagle down there replica belts that's pretty cool i don't see anything else up top but at least we know those are starting to show up he's something to look for and they got a bunch of mario figures some of these are single on the peg, but still. 
Oh man, there's some going to be coming. Uh, Streets of Rage and Genesis, some Altered Beast, uh, Sega Genesis figures like this. I can't wait till those start hitting. More than likely, we got some Genesis. I mean, you got Sonic there already, but like I said, it'd be cool to see those other games start to show up. All kinds of Donkey Kongs and Diddy Kongs. Still no Series 3 Among Us. But I got a few Pokemon cards this morning. Not seeing anything else exciting, guys. Looks like the 146 Basics is the new stuff. Thinking, oh, they still got some pretty good stuff, though. You got some carded X-Men 97 Wave 1 still left. If you're still looking for some of those. I got some buddies looking for Rogue. And I saw her when I was out of town. I didn't know those guys needed it. So hopefully they can find that before it goes off shelf. And I got to pay aftermarket for it. But anyways, we're going to check out some diecast now. Anything there or in collectors, you'll see it. If not, I'll see you somewhere else. Oh, it is a windy day here in Bristol. We are at Ross. Let's go in here and let's see if they got anything that just might blow us away. All right, they are just finishing stocking. They do have some stuff up front. I'll go back and film, but we're trying to find Quasar. He wasn't up front. Doesn't look like he's back here either, but they do have some stuff up there. They got some multiverse and power rangers some other stuff i'll show you before i leave but yeah not much back here different than last time got mikey there on the skateboarding turtle we got a lady coming at us we got to move nothing there and anything snuck around and hidden back here and a mario set they got one another mario like this up there but it's a different one. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Big set there. There's the Mario backpack they still got. And let's just take a gaze over here. Make sure nothing's wandered over there. No. All right. It looks like up front's got our hitters today. We're going to run back up there, take a look, and I will see you there. Oh, there's a Petrodon or whatever. But yeah, okay. What's this dinosaur? Oh, same thing. Okay. All right, now let's see what's up front. Well, we got some stuff up here, like we mentioned. Got this little dry bone set. Not bad. How much are these things? 13. And we've got. Oh, I haven't seen Baloo before. And the Mirrorverse. And we've got Mickey, we've seen. Oh, cool. There's Donald. So we got him. And this one is enormous. Sully. Oh, man, Sully looks mean. I have a Thanos vibe going there. Okay, we got Meat and Mayhem Donnie there. I'm not going to dig that out. Anime stuff. Uh, that's what we've been seeing. We also have three Atom Smashers here from Black Adam. First time $4.99. Seeing any multiverse Black Adam outside of Black Adam. Still got Madam Hydra. We got a Blue Ranger from the Lightning Collection. $7.99. Uh, Pokemon's figure packs here. There is that one. And then the other one there. Kind of tore open. I'm going to try to grab it. And down here, more Pokemon. Another Halo hit. And two of those. I can't get to the Halos. But I assume it's the other two. Like we saw at Elizabeth. Okay, don't show them on the back. But yeah, we got some, some more stuff here at Ross. These best action turtles are hitting. Got a couple of Leos and a Donnie, a bunch of Mirrorverse, and some Black Adam. But let's head out of here. All right, we just hit Ross, and we did find some stuff there. So now we're going to head in here to Book Million, which is right next door. And then you see the red up there. We're going to hit Burlington after that. So let's go see if Book Million's got anything. Then we'll check Burlington. Let's take a look here in Book Million. I still got a bunch of best action. I do like this Bebop and Rocksteady, the 80s Bebop. That rock steady, but again, I'm trying not to buy these anymore unless it's this one I absolutely have to have. I'll probably still get the Casey Jones figures. Uh, they still got the two Wednesdays, Enid and Wednesday. They got this Indy. This Indiana Jones, I think, is the one that's like $35. It's 40 bucks here. Wow. How much a short round? 29 yeah. Why is this one more expensive, guys? Let me know. He's higher here and he's higher at um, GameStop. But. I don't see much else going on down there. We do have the footbot. A couple of those back in stock. This thing's pretty cool, I think. And we've got some new last running that should be hitting. But you can see there. That guy 
is sweet. We did pick him up already though, and I got a couple of those. How much are these here? $35.99, so not much over retail. As for their neck, I think they're kind of reasonably priced on. Oh, we got Pops behind us. Let's see what we got here. Four Gump. Oh, they got the Master of the Universe one. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, there is a Chase, I guess. Yeah, I want the Chases. I've been curious about the Chase Forrest Gump as well. Somebody was laughing saying you only get the bench if you buy this, and then the Chase figure is actually, you know, him. <laughs> That's not true, I don't think. I think you actually get a figure in that. Okay, anything sticking out we haven't seen prior? Post Malone. Poison Ivy, you got the Deadpools. Uh, Demon Slayer. Black Mantle looks pretty cool. We'll come back and get a picture. I want a picture of the foot bot for the thumbnail. Still got that exclusive Matt Murdock. I always meant to look and see if this was this BAM exclusive Entertainment Earth. 15 bucks. I guess it's the same price as all their others. Let's look at a BAM exclusive. Yeah, $14.99. I think that's what about three bucks over the current price of Pops. Uh, Pain versus Noru. Noruto, whatever you say it. It's Godzilla and Kong ones. That's not a bad looking Godzilla. Got the BAM exclusive trooper and mini puffed a bunch of those and then over here is a nice one days of future past i wonder how much these are here they're 30 bucks and 26.99 they're cheaper here than they are at target those are 29 well i don't know about this one in particular but those comic covers are usually 30 bucks at target got a 66 batmobile down there getting all kinds of dust 12 bucks and all these dr strange figs some older legends. I bet these are still 30. How much they got on Ultron? Yeah, 30 bucks. How much is Carter Spider Man? Same thing. Born Again is a good storyline. What do we got in Spidey? Murdoch, Murdoch, MJ, and Sandman. X Men 97, Storm, Magneto, and Storm. And of course, these we got at Ross. So actually, I didn't get Storm. But once again, T3 Collects hooked me up. Multiverse looks about the same. I see a Clooney down there. We just saw him for $5 at Ross right next door. And he's 23 here, so yeah. <laughs> Go to Ross for that one, guys. Uh, Cyclone, Adam Smasher, Sabak. They do have a bat flick here from Batman vs. Superman. But that looks like all the only new multiverse that they got. Last run, we'll get over and check the rest in a minute. As far as last run in a turtle's neck, I think a man at arms. He is punched though. Are right, they 21 here? Yep. So that's pretty cute to see him. We saw those things at both targets, full waves over the weekend. That's a nice mega fig. All right, let's wander over here now. See what we got in horror. May have to get quiet. There's some people over here, but you can at least see what's on the shelf. Oh, they got Nosferatu. I've got this one already, but I still enjoy that. Gremlins, oh, Halloween ends, Michael Myers. I have not gotten through all this one. I heard it wasn't that great. Yep, we got Mr. Myers, the thing. Gremlins. Uh, Jason sucks there now, so I've got a pair of those. And I think that's going to do it, guys. I don't see any additional naked turtle stuff there. We haven't seen a thousand times, but we're going to get some pictures for our thumbnail and wrap this up. See anything else you will. If not, see you at the next. Okay, we're in Burlington. I mentioned in the intro to Books of Me, and we're going in here, but give me time for the graphic to clear. And let's see. I walked by the front register. I think that's a bunch of Mario stuff. They did have a siren up there marked down. It's like $3.99, I think, or $5.99. I couldn't really tell. People up there, I couldn't get to it. Those little coin cars. There's Mario, a Goomba. How much are these here? Actually, $3.99. It's Ross. There we go. $3.99 here, too. How much are these little boogers? $3.99. Same price. Okay. So I got two Mario, two Yoshis, a Goomba. And Toad, and then three Mario and these little coin car things. Okay, so we got some Mario stuff. 
Oh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, be right back, guys. All right, sorry about that. Here we go. There he is, Wild Ride and Grogu. Oh, we got some little Spider-Man motorcycle thing here. This is Epic Heroes, five ninety-nine. I haven't seen that before. Oh, six-inch Spider-Man basic fig. So not anything super exciting. They do have some different stuff. There's that Iron Man Hulk set. But let's head around the back end here and go up the other aisle. And they got a bunch of stock cards piled up out here. I'm kind of curious if they might have any anything in those. There's a Spider-Man calendar for $6.99. Um, Fortnite Nerf gun. That looks like about it, guys. We're going to peek these stock crates back here if I can get to them. If there is anything in there, I'll let you see it. If not, that's going to do it for Burlington. All right, everybody. We are here at Target in Bristol. They were kind of slower last week, not a whole lot of stuff. So let's run in here and see if they stocked anything for us. Let's take a look here and see what we got today. We got the Optimus down there, the Earth Spark. Uh, what do we got there? Galvatron. Got my Boulder Trash. Tasmania Kid. And Tasmania Kid. Uh, RC. And a bunch of ratchets. No Snarl or Optimus Primal today. Uh, we got a Hawkman still hanging out back here. We do have a Skydive Batman from Dark Knight Returns. Or Dark Knight, I'm sorry, that's from the Joker. Not Dark I got confused there, guys, sorry. I saw this thinking about Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> but we saw that at Books a Million as well. And they've got a, how about that, I said DC Classic. Somebody return it? Oh, Injustice, okay. They got a Superman, just a Superman. Let's hang these back on here. And we got Aqualad still hanging out up there. An anti-monitor. Two-pack Superman. We got four button junkyards. Makes me a 97 Epic Hero set. None of the single box figure. Well, no matter where they are. Um, Rogue and Cyclops. No Wolverine. The little box Venom. Not anything really different going on here. They do have a Doc Ock. Always cool to see the dock. Wolverine's claw glove. Spider-Man, the spider buggy. Iron spider. I guess he's off sale now, but Captain America, and we're down to $14.99. I'm surprised he's the peg warmer. I thought the Iron Man Mark II would be the peg warmer, although he's been quite honest. And then the Iron Spider's not selling that great, but I don't know, it's not a bad looking figure, but I don't know. I got, I don't really want that one. If it came with a little tentacle arm things, maybe, but he doesn't come with any of that. There's Linky Box, Poppy Playtime. I don't notice anything different in here. Cybernetic Azure Sensei, okay. Ninja Legends. I think there's Cobra Kai figures in that that we saw. Yeah, right there you go. There's Johnny Lawrence and Johnny Lawrence. So there's where your wave of that. Um, so I think there's a Minecraft thing I don't think I've seen. That flipping figs thing. Rainbow Friends on a school bus. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that. I'll take a picture of that for the thumbnail. Sonic Prime little three pack there. It's not bad looking. It looks different. Uh, got some plushies down there. Still got Mario hanging on. That Bowser in battle scene we picked up at Ross. We just saw a bunch of these for $3.99. At Burlington, so they are a dollar cheaper. Cheap, cheap Yoshi's, cheap, cheap. And we got a couple of Koopa Troopas here, still showing six ninety nine. It goes to three thirty now. Okay, that was three twenty three on some of that stuff. I guess they extended some, or maybe some of it did run longer. I just didn't notice it. I got a few loose things there. We got some single carded trucks over here. I think it's those. Yeah, the dirty ones. But actually, let's doing a favor here. I just noticed these hanging down there. There we go. Clean up a little bit. Keep our toy aisles looking good. Now let's head over here to wrestling figures. Keep our camera pointed down in case somebody's here and there's not. Uh, I thought that was Walmart exclusive. <laughs> I guess somebody tried to return it as the Target exclusive one. I don't know. Hogan, Stratus, Rock, and Cena. More Hogan. The truck. I figured though, this stuff should get a restock this week. The sale went off on the wrestling figures. There's Stu Grayson and a J. 
Hager, the Blade, Nala Rose, and the Butcher. There's the Blade if you want to see him. What wave is this from? MJF Jericho Series 6. That's Series 13. Okay, that is an older figure. Must be curious what it might scan at. Um, still got Donnie and Leo down there. Maybe a Mikey. I don't know. I'm not going to dig through those. There's Mikey. I see the chain on his nunchuck right behind Donnie on his big turtles. Oh, you guys, a chase today I can pick up? Nope. I do have that thing. That thing's pretty cool. This one I don't think I will pick up. The B Wing. I think the only other thing I want this way, I'd love to find that X Ray Chase Poe Dameron X Wing. That would be sweet. Well, they got Turtles of Grey Skull as well. Donnie, He Man, a man at arms. So I'll love the Leo and no mouse jaw. His cell showing in 323, and it's still got his tag on there, but they don't have any. So I guess it doesn't matter. Got some mutating. These were down to like $8.99 during that sale. Are those Rock Steady. Oh, and Bebop. I think these are the better two of these, in my opinion, anyways, that have come out so far. Look at this big drill gun there. <laughs> and I got some Mutant Mayhem plushies. And then our figs. I got, oh, there we go. There's a 40th sticker on a wing nut. There's a Baxter, Genghis, and a storage shell. Okay, here's the non-stickered Baxter. We're going to look, guys, and just see. Is there a difference? Is anything... Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, we broke a tag. Got to fix that. So let's take a look here. The only thing I see difference is they've got the 40th sticker on there. Sad thing is some collectors are going to buy that just because it has that when it's the same thing as that. <laughs> and I'm not saying anything. I'm not making fun of TMT collectors. If that was something I was into... I'd probably do that too. Uh, we do have some Pokemon. There's a big Eevee. I got that for Madison a while back. Got some massive points with the girl. But I think we're going to turn it off now. We're going to go check Diecast if anything's there. If you do see anything there, you'll see it. But if not, we'll head over and check out some collectors. Let's peek at some Diecast. See what we got. A bunch of Tech Deck stuff. Uh, micro machines. These demolition derby cars are kind of cool. Bunch of Fast and the Furious stuff there. Pink slips. Back to, or back to the future. <laughs> Fast and the Furious nano scenes. Lamborghini. Oh, hello kitty. There we go. I need to get that for the die cast collection. I do like the Spider Man and Spider Bucky. Um, let's see. Anything good in these? Eh. Probably don't need to look at them. I'll end up buying one. <laughs> Got some kids getting excited for the Godzilla toys. NASCAR. Mario Kart. Some of these guys. Marvel, Jurassic World. Mario Kart. Star Wars. I want to buy it. Mercedes. Oh my god, it's a Minecraft deck. <laughs> Let's see. Hey! Don't call me. Ghost, the scythe. This thing looks cool, but like I said, it's so dark color, it's hard to get it properly on camera. That one's tempting to get. I'm not gonna lie. Star Destroyer is as well. Do they have it? They had it here Friday. Yeah, they still got it. I think that's pretty sweet as well. These Hot Wheels Star Wars ships are nice. I have to say, I haven't opened one. I've got a few, but they feel like they're actual metal versus the Hot Wheels Batman, which one of those were plastic. Uh, I'm not seeing anything too enticing on the Hot Wheels side. I mean, want to dig through all of those, but I think that's going to do it, guys. We are going to head over back over to Collectors and see if we can find anything over there. If I do, I'll show it to you. If I don't, I'll see you somewhere else. Here's one thing, guys. Oh. Xbox system here is marked down $149 to $99 until $331. So like I said, I haven't put mine together to tell you if it's a good bargain or not, but like I said, 50 bucks off, so keep an eye out for this thing. And we made it to collectors. There's Rhea Ripley. Everybody who watches my channel knows we're going to be looking for Street Fighter figures here after the initial scan of the NECA. Superman Tony Terrors, no Joker. 
There's Alf, Ghostface, Ghostface and Elvira, Michael Myers, Soft Goods, Frankenstein, Halloween Kills. We saw Halloween Ends. That's the other one. Yeah, he got a little worse for wear as that went on. His Halloween Ends one looked a little rougher in it. Um, Zappa or Spider Man original Ghost Rider one's nice. Which one's on sale? Last Ronin is down at $19.99. Do they have any of those? Ghost Rider, Spider Man. What's he hiding back here? Huh, of course he's on sale. They don't have any. <laughs> of course, everybody probably jumped on that price 10 bucks off. I might be con con or convinced to buy one for 20 I like getting those things around 15 but $10 off, still not bad. Let's see what else we got down through here. Not seeing any Street Fighters, just that initial slow scan there. There's a Reaper spawn figure hanging out. Squirrel Girl. Uh, let's see, Wolverines. Wolverine. More squirrel girl. There's the last Ronin. So we're gonna think about that for 20 bucks. I don't know. We're gonna stick him up here. That's a possibility. I need to quit buying those things actually. I'm trying to get a whole a whole lot of pops and so I bought a few, I guess not too many lately, but a few more than I probably should. Dune figures, somebody had asked to show them. Um, it looks like the same ones I've been seeing. This two-pack with Paul and Fade. I don't see right off the top of my head anything else, Dune. I thought they had some single figures last time I was in here. I don't see them. Looks like the two-pack's all they got. And they do have this. I don't remember if they had Joker Eyes Batgirl before or not. They got a couple of her. I still got a bat cycle, a couple or Batman and a Scarecrow. They about dwindled all their stock on those. Stranger Things, Page Punchers. I've uh, got a couple Mars attacks up there. Roger Rabbit. Well, right here's where the Street Fighters should be, but there's no Street Fighters back there. I don't see any stuck behind anything. But I'm gonna dig around in this a little bit. After I stop recording, so you guys will have to sit and watch me try to find, um, what's your names? M. Bison and Dalsim. There is a movie maniac, a Rocky. McFarlane is doing a Rocky and Apollo Creed. Goes up for pre-order this Wednesday, March 27th. So the day you see this video, check McFarlane's side. I don't know where else is going to sell them right now, but I saw it on their a teaser on their page. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the clearance down there since I got anything. If they do, I'll can log back in or turn the camera back on and show it to you. But if not, guys, that's going to do it for Target. Anything else you'll see it? And if not, I'll see you at the next one. We're at the Green Bull Ross. We're giving time for my graphic to clear off the screen. And we're going to see what we got. A bunch of page punchers. There's the Hush Batman. Uh, Rebirth Superman. Another Batman. There is a... Koopa. It's convertible and put wings on, making a flying paratrooper. Okay. Music's kind of loud in here. Hopefully that's not coming through too bad. I don't want to have to do our voiceover. Still got this little sucker. $3.99. How much are the page punchers? $4.99. Okay. Yeah, they had this the other day too. I think that thing's pretty cool. I like the Hot Wheels Mario Kart. Um, still got Raph. They got Mikey back there. Dragon Ball, Transformers, Micro Galaxy. I try to turn to that transformer looks like. I uh, got a quasar hiding down here anywhere. How about down here? No, nope, that Avengers Assemble dress up set. Hey, here we go. That could be me, T3, and you can feel. Minion. What else we got here? Yep. Donnie and Mikey on skateboards. We just saw Mikey on skateboards earlier in Bristol. Behind there. Nothing too good. We still got the... Well, I say still got. We've seen some other raw stores. 
$14.99. Transformers 2 pack. I think this is a nice little Hot Wheels set. I saw the Spider Man one somewhere. I think it was Elizabeth and kind of got a little collector's regret not getting that one. Mario Underground set. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 13 bucks. And reduced $8.99. Down here, Roblox. Sorry, I looked at all this. Can't remember. Um, Gigantosaurus. Another Mario set that I marked down to. That's the same one there, isn't it? Come on, you got the markdown sticker? Where is it? No, it's still showing twelve ninety nine. Something wrong with this other one? Hmm. Doesn't appear to be opened. I don't know. Anywho, there's the Halo. One of those. I got actually three of them. There's Raph on a skateboard. Do they have Leonardo on a skateboard? Nope. It's Raph, Mikey, and Donnie. And a bunch of these things. How much are they? Eight bucks. Uh, what else we got? Pokemon Battle Pack. And then we got the other two Halo sets. Any chance one of these is a Fire Lord? Nope. No Quasar back there? Unfortunately, no. Well, we got the Mask Optimal Primal. Optimus Primal? Okay, Optimus Primal. And then the Mario Backpack. Let's just take a look. Anything behind this stuff? Oh, that fell. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh crap. And nothing back there. Alright. Quick scan behind us. Make sure there's nothing laying back here. I don't think there is. Or there's stuff. Just nothing we're looking for. There's more of those Pokemon things. There's the bigger pack. That we saw earlier as well. A bunch of these Pokemon packs here. 23 for that one. I don't remember if I looked at the small one. We were up, saw it up there a second ago. 15. All right, guys. That's going to do it. I want to dig around here to make sure there's not a Quasar laying around here somewhere. If I do find one, I'll let you see it. If I don't find anything else, I'll see you somewhere else. We've not filmed in the old home base in a while. Let's we'll see what they got. Uh... We've got the Technic Space thing down there. We've got the little orbiting thing. The small Millennium Falcon. I think this thing's pretty cool, but I'm, I'm sure it's expensive. Oh, I just, I'm killing fucklers. I have killed fucklers. Oh, Whitechapel. I think things are going to come alive and go and come at me. They're definitely going to do it now, aren't they? Whitechapel's one of my viewers that made a comment about these things. We're about to turn into a horror movie and you know, come alive or whatever. So, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Do enjoy that. I think that's neat. I think the tentative is as well. These smaller scale Star Wars models. But I'm sure they were expensive. Because most Star Wars Lego is. I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm, yeah, I've got a couple of Star Wars Lego sets. I don't have any of the bigger, nicer ones though. Um, so some of the same old, same old. Where's the Jurassic Park? Lord have mercy. The Godzilla and Kong stuff. Fugglers like Leo and Donnie's. Mutant Mayhem, oh, most of those are showing up at raw stores now. Do they have the light green Genghis frog? I don't know. We found those variants of each other several times now. Looks like they kind of restocked Mutant Mayhem or kind of stacked it up maybe on some fewer pegs. The 2002 remakes, that what they are, 2002, 2003, something like that. Pizza Fire Van, Giant Turtles down there. Oh, we got Iron Man Mark 46, He Who Remains, and Spider-Man there for Civil War. Have they gotten a restock of this wave? Here is Captain America. And here we've got War Machine, Black Widow, Mark II, and a Bruce Banner. So yeah, we got a restock of the Infinity Saga wave. Well, they got the entire wave, don't they? I wonder if I can fit all these on here. There's that Iron Man hanger. I don't think it's ever been put on a shelf. That's the sweet. Where, where it's first. 
Well, Spidey's not going to go. He's going to be the stubborn one. I don't think there's enough room to get him up there. I don't want to damage the box. Guess somebody wants him. But yeah, I got the whole wave of those guys again. Um, Lowell, MJ, Mr. Murdoch, another Mr. Murdoch. Still got Tarantula. Now, I've been hunting here because I haven't been filming here in a while. Does it mean I haven't still been coming in the store? I scan that Tarantula every time. He's still $25. I mean, I've already got one. That's why I'm want to get them on clearance i like to have one take off card but you know if we get one for that i usually try to find one on clearance or a sale price before i buy two most of the usual prices there and all that stuff the x-men they got one cyclops left well i take that back here's some scattered here you got well cyclops <laughs> a couple of cyclops and i can't see any more down this hodgepodge i mean look at this this is a disaster i don't know what it is with this store when i first came to greenville this was a nice Walmart. They always had good stock in the toy section. It was orderly, it was put away. Now it is a dumpster fire. <laughs> Every time you come, it's a mess. Shante Adonis, uh, it's Mr. T wave. We got the Mr. T out of that wave. Really the only one I wanted from that wave of basics. I want the Bret Hart for sure, and probably the Kevin Owens in the new wave that we saw this morning. Gotta find Bret. Bret's my all time favorite wrestler. I uh, still got Damian Wayne hanging on. He was seven fifty here a while back. I don't know what he's at now. He's showing twelve fifty there, so I don't know. They had him down in collector section, hanging outside the electronics thing. Several of them here a while back. Uh, I got the Batman with the jacket on. Superman, Dark Knight Returns. That one's been showing up at some raw stores, I think. We don't have Batgirl, do we? No. Batman Robin and Mr. F Mr. Fleas. Got Poe's X-Wing here and then some Series 1. It's going to be, what is this thing called again? Asajj Ventress. There's a Luke and Grogu. It should be on clearance. 29. I don't think that's supposed to be Chrysanthemum. That says, I think, he was 22, I think, last time I scanned him here. I can't remember. I'd have to look and see. Who we got here? Series 142. Oh, I almost dropped her. Charlotte Flair. That was the Hulk Hogan wave. For those of you interested, the Honky Tonk Man there is your chase in that one. I believe it's the one with the blue pants. I thought it was funny. Yukon Phil. He's now in the book of Yukon Phil. He's changed the name of his channel, but he was talking about me in one of his videos, finding all these chase figures. And he's like, I don't see any chases here. And now Honky Tonk Man Chase was hanging right there. <laughs> One of those times I'm laughing and getting on the TV. He's like, dude, it's right there. You got a chase right in front of you. And granted, the basic chases probably aren't as alluring as some of the others, but still, they're chases. I, mean, I like the WWE basic figures. They're a cheaper way to get some wrestlers. And, you know, they're not as nice as the elites, but they're still not bad. This is a loaded diecast. Now, I did look up top up there. Those Star Wars ships are all commons. No chases. I mean, look at this. This Walmart, I guess, I went through a period where it didn't stock hardly anything. Now I think they're trying to get it all cleared out. And they are cramming the aisles full. But let's see if we can find anything good in here. Kindle Motor Oils, 007. Some more Batmobiles. And look at all the Batmobiles. I got a ton of them. Now, these are on clearance in some places. I wonder if they're actually... These are marked down. There's the Bat Cycle. We just saw it for $3.99 down the road at Ross. This thing was cool. Playing with Himikuda. Do like that. Uh, I got the nano scenes there for Fast and Furious. Let's see, we have DC. Looks like they got the Batman. Bunch of monster trucks. No burnt weenie, unfortunately. Oh, this is cool. It's Bigfoot in it. Hmm, I've seen that one before. I'm gonna hang on to him. That might be a pickup. I am a sucker for the Bigfoot monster trucks. Well, they got a lot of stuff here, but I'm not seeing a lot of stuff we're looking for outside. Maybe this. Uh, the Porsche cars. I found a whole one open box of those at the Kingsport Walmart, but unfortunately. It did not contain car number six, which I've heard is very hard to find. Oh, 
well, hello there everyone. <laughs> My name is Chris. You're watching The Man Collects. Welcome back to The Man Hut as we wrap up another toy hunting adventure here on the YouTube channel. Thank you for everyone for watching the video and supporting the channel. If you did like the video, be sure to hit the like button to let YouTube know that. But beginning of the week toy hunt, guys, back into Bristol, Virginia, and a little bit of the Greenville, Tennessee area. And past three weeks, I've been out of town a lot, so I haven't started my hunt weeks off like I normally do in the Bristol, Virginia area. So it's kind of good to get back to normal, even though this wasn't really the sexiest of hunts. Didn't find a whole lot of stuff out there this time, but it's still good to get out in the usual spots and hunt. And if anything, we're trying to get this big gut off of me, so it's kind of nice to get out and walk around a little bit and get a little exercise as well. But what took it? Store of the hunt. To be honest, I started off to even do a store of the hunt or a top three because I didn't really, again, see a whole lot of exciting things on this hunt. We're keeping it consistent. We're a professional YouTube channel here, so let's talk about it. Target, Bristol, Virginia. I gave that store of the hunt. Um, again, they didn't have a lot of exciting finds. They did have some stuff, though. Uh, multiverse, they had the Skydive Batman and then Batfleck from Batman vs. Superman. It's kind of to see those. Don't see that wave a lot. Um, I see it more, I guess, as far as Batfleck and uh, Books a Million stores than I do in Targets, but... Uh, Batman Skydive was not the Platinum. That Platinum is an actual chase, it looks like, as well as that Catwoman. I've only seen the Catwoman once, and I got lucky to get at the Target that day, just as they were stocking it. And I got lucky, I don't remember if it was Target or if it was Entertainment Earth, where I ordered Skydive Batman and got a Platinum. You know, so luckily I got one of those. I've only seen that in stores once. I think that was in Northern Virginia, maybe around Harrisonburg, can't remember. But anyways, they had those two figures there. They had Doc Ock from Marvel Legends. Even though that thing is in every Target store in the United States at the current moment, it's still cool to see it is a good-looking figure, and I'm a huge fan of Alfred Molina's portrayal of Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, the coolest thing about Target this time, though, was sale prices on some stuff that I thought was neat. Um, that Xbox 360 Mega Block set is marked down from $149.99 to $99.99. So anyone been looking for that thing, check now. I think the tag you saw in the video, I think it's on sale until the end of March, uh, March 31st. So been looking for that thing, now might be the time to grab it. Who knows if it'll go cheaper, but it is $50 off right now. And then the last Ronin comic pop comic cover thing was down to $19.99. I started to get that, guys. I did not get it. Still $20. I'm, I'm buying too much of that stuff. I need to focus my collecting down on a few things and quit buying everything that I see because it's a cheaper price. So I fought the urge, and I was good and put that one back. But it was still cool to have it for a markdown price. And then I've made loads of fun of the Jokerized uh, multiverse figures, but they did have Batgirl there. I don't remember seeing Batgirl in store. I saw the White Knight Batman Joker eyes. I don't know if I saw Batgirl, but she was there. And when I scanned her, she scanned for $7.49. So they had her there, and that, that's a clearance price. That's not a sale price. So I guess they had her on clearance. And look how they just put them out. Both the ones they had were in great shape. The boxes weren't tore up that bad. So good good deal on those, I guess, if you're looking for those Joker eyes figures. That's Store of the Hunt, Target, and Bristol. So that leads us into what was the top three for our lackluster toy hunt? Number three was the Walmart in Bristol. That's the Basic Series 146 WWE figures. And I'm giving it to that because of a figure in that wave, which ended up being the only figure they didn't have of that wave, Bret the Hitman Hart. Um, Bret Hart is one of my favorite wrestlers when I was a kid. I'll say Bret Hart was my favorite wrestler, especially through the mid to late 90s there with the Attitude Era and all that stuff going on. And I still watch Bret even when he got to WCW. But Bret Hart also has a chase figure in that one. I think the non-chase, I think, has pink pants the chase figure has the black pants if i'm not mistaken um, i know the chase has got black pants i saw it on someone's instagram the other night but um, i'm thinking that the common has on pink pants i don't remember but anyways black pants is a chase whatever color the other one is that's your common but seeing that there in store tells me it's starting to hit so now i know to start paying attention look at basic figures and try to find me a hitman figure because again i gotta have bread i'd like to find the common and the chase to that uh, I probably got the most Bret Hart figures than anything else. And WWE Superstar is my favorite wrestling figure line. You gotta make a Bret Hart eventually. But anyways, that's number three, WWE Basic Series 146. Number two was something we saw in Books a Million. It's one of my favorite X-Men stories, Days of Future Past. They got that Funko comic. Uh, I just talked about not trying to buy these things, and I didn't buy this one either. It's was was $27 is too much for it. But it is cool looking there, the Days of Future Past uh, Funko Pop comic cover. You know, that's one of the, I think, one of the iconic X-Men comic covers. Wolverine with a spotlight where the Sentinels got him when his claw popped out and all the warning signs and stuff behind him. 
I mean, that, I love that story. I actually got the original books. I think it's 141 and 142 of Uncanny X-Men, or 140 and 141. My mind's a little rusty on that one, but that is an excellent story in X-Men lore. I even enjoyed the movie, you know, that came out. Even though it was, it was loosely based on that, it wasn't a direct adaptation. But like I said, that's an awesome comic story. I like seeing that Funko Pop. It takes me back to buying the comic books, you know, years and years ago. And it makes me want to dig them out of my collection and look at them again, to be quite honest. But Days of Future Past Funko Pop. Comic cover is number two. Now, number one. What was the number one thing? Well, in typical fashion, we've already got more than three things in the top three, but I got more than one or more than one thing in my, my top number one pick. But the target sale price items. I've already talked about that with Store of the Hunt, so we're not going to beat it to death again. But you had the Ronum comic uh, cover pop for $19.99, uh, marked down $10. You had the Mega Bloks Xbox 360, marked down $50 to $99.99. And you had the Joker Eyes Batgirl, marked down from $24.99 down to $7.49. But all those cool sale prices, that made those things in Target the number one coolest thing I saw because... If you are a collector, you know, we, there is things you buy for full price of support lines when you want to get something. But when you find a deal, you find a sale, it makes you feel a little bit better to save a little bit of money on something, you know, that you're buying as a, a luxury hobby. But it's cool to see the sale prices on that stuff. Now, toy haul. I only bought two things. The first thing I bought did come from the Greenville Walmart. And I'm a huge fan of the Bigfoot Monster Truck. Loved that thing since I was a kid. Now, this version, I gotta admit, I am not familiar with. I'm assuming this is probably one of his newer style trucks. I don't remember this one when I was a kid. But still, it was a Bigfoot Monster Truck, so I bought it to go into the collection. We did get the Bigfoot Monster Truck. And I don't think this is a treasure hunt or anything. But still, it's Bigfoot, so it's cool. Now, the next thing I bought is a... McFarland figure that I have made fun of this line and made fun of it and made fun of it but I just kept thinking when I really got to studying on it I've got all of these that he's done like this except for two and they had one of them at that target for seven dollars and 49 cents so if you can figure it out we did get a Joker Eyes Batgirl, so everyone that I've talked to have made fun of these Joker Eyes figures, go ahead and let me have it on Instagram or in the comments. But like I said, the completionist in me got to thinking he hasn't announced another Joker Eyes figure in forever. The only two I don't have is this one and the White Knight Batman. Now, I'm, I don't know if I'll end up getting White Knight unless I do find it for a deal, but when this thing scanned at $7.49, I thought, why not, if anything, I can, you know, trade it or something one of these days for that price, which I'll end up keeping it. And hey, all I gotta say is someday when these things are worth millions, you know, man collects will be laughing at you, but we know that's probably never gonna happen. But yep, we did get the Batgirl figure there. I mean, seven forty nine. come on, can you blame me? And like I said, I only need this one. Now I just need one more to have all these Jokerized figures. And at least I'll have a complete set of something until he announces 15 more of these. But like I said, for now, we just need one more. And that is it for the toy haul, guys. A monster truck and a Joker, Jokerized Batgirl is all we've got. But let's talk about social media and where you can find the man collects. Instagram. If you go to the description of this video, if you go to my about to page on YouTube, or you look at the splash here, it's on the screen for you now. All of those will show you where to go on Instagram to find the man collects. Look me up on there. Give me a follow should you choose to. I think I'm around 450 followers now. And seeing that I don't think I post the best content on Instagram, I really appreciate everyone who supports me on that platform as well as YouTube here. And with that segue, we go into the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. Again, we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers. I think I'm like at 2730 as of the time I hit record on this video. So like I said, I need your all's help for that. So with all that being said, if you are that first time viewer to this content, you've come back several times, you enjoy the content, and you just haven't clicked subscribe. Do me a favor, click subscribe on that and see what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel and help the man collects get to 3,000 subscribers. All right, everybody, it is Wednesday. We're trying. Actually, it's Monday or Tuesday when I'm filming this. I don't really know. It's kind of late at night. But anyways, you'll see this on Wednesday. We're getting closer to the weekend. Hope everyone's having a great week, and I'll see you back here Friday. <laughs>